when we are in a stationary car that moves rapidly to gain speed we get pushed back against our seat and when brakes are applied we get pushed ahead or when we take a sharp right turn we are pushed towards the left these are all situations where we are accelerating we have all experienced this whether in a car or a bus or while riding a motorbike simply put when velocity changes we have acceleration i still haven't defined what acceleration is i just told you that when velocity changes there will be acceleration okay let me give you two examples in the first one a car is traveling in a straight line at a constant speed of 80 kilometers an hour and in the second one a plane is traveling in a straight line at a constant speed of 1000 kilometers an hour in which case do you think acceleration is involved none in both cases the velocity is not changing at all hence there will be no acceleration in either of the cases most people relate acceleration to high speed and that's clearly not true acceleration will only exist when there is change in velocity do you remember what velocity is it's speed with direction and it's hence a vector quantity why is this important let's say a body moves from rest and reaches a velocity of 20 kilometers an hour in 5 seconds will acceleration be involved here yes because the velocity is changing it was zero initially and at the end of 5 seconds it's 20 kilometers per hour in another scenario assume that a body is moving at 30 kilometers an hour and then it moves right at 30 kilometers an hour and continues traveling at the same speed of 30 kilometers per hour will there be acceleration in this case the answer is yes as the direction is changing the velocity will also change the only thing constant in this example is speed but the velocity changes as the direction changes So this was the most important concept you had to know about acceleration. It will exist only when there is a change in velocity. But how is acceleration calculated? Acceleration is defined as the rate of change of velocity. In terms of a formula, acceleration can be written as change in velocity over the time taken. If the velocity of an object changes from an initial value of u to the final value of v in time t, then the acceleration a can be written as v minus u over t. Say this object is at rest initially at point a. It then travels to the right and attains a velocity of 10 meters per second in 5 seconds. What will be the acceleration here at point b? We can look at the formula to get the answer. The initial velocity u is 0 meters per second as the object is stationary. The final velocity v is 10 meters per second and the time taken t is 5 seconds. Hence the acceleration a will equal 10 meters per second minus 0 meters per second divided by 5 seconds. So this will equal 10 meters per second divided by 5 seconds. 10 divided by 5 is 2. Wait, hold on. what will be the units of acceleration we should get a hint by looking at this the units of acceleration will be meters per second per second because it's the change in velocity over the time taken as this is meters per second we can carry this second to the denominator and what we will get is meters per second squared this one is more intuitive but this one is a bit neater i would say so the acceleration in this case will be 2 meters per second squared and acceleration is also a vector quantity here acceleration and velocity are in the same direction there are many more important concepts about acceleration which we will cover in the coming videos